time for us to pause for thought. Mervyn Bird is with us this morning, street pastor from Tiverton. Happy Friday the 13th, Merv. Yes, good morning to you, Gordon, as well. And uh, what an exciting day. And uh, it's nice to have something that's lifting the mood, isn't it? 40 years anniversary of uh, children in need. And uh, yes, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, well done, yeah. And we'll be seeing... Uh, we, we've heard some of the great people that uh, did the sing-along with McFly on Monday and we have the opportunity to see them on Spotlight tonight, including Toby, more on whom later in the programme, who was drumming as well with McFly. So that's going to be exciting and uh, I hope you're all geared up for everything, Merv. Yes, wonderful. I'm so geared up here, Gordon. I've uh, been looking at your Twitter feed already this morning <laughs> and I've seen you in your pudsy's ears. And uh, I see it was taken in the studio this morning, too, with a date behind you. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I hope you, you had that on an empty stomach, uh, you know, before you had your brekkie. I'm my mind up, Gordon, really. Um, <laughs> which is most soothing, uh, running water or seeing you at this time of the morning with Pudsy's ears on. <laughs> I, think, I think it's running water, but remember, Merv, it's for charity. Uh, I so... thought it was wonderful, Gordon, and thank you for bless putting you. that on, too. Oh, bless you, bless you. You say the nicest things and you can read my writing. Uh, time... <laughs> <laughs> Please, Mervyn, for today's pause for thought. Thank you. Good morning, listeners. It's good to be with you again. The stories of satellite navigation systems leading you to the wrong way are uncountable, but also funny, but also have a serious side to them, too. I recall being in the middle of Exeter trying to locate an address, and the sat-nav tried to tell me the turning I'd just passed was the road I should take. I turned around, went back, only to discover it was a one-way street that would have meant I was driving the wrong way. And yet on a positive side for sat-navs, I was attending a course in Plymouth and was due to pick up a colleague on the way there in Plymouth itself. He gave me the name of the street and said, Merv, the house is being painted, so the numbers have been removed from the door. How amazing. The sat-nav located the correct street and the correct house without a number causing me to stop right by the door with the news, you have now reached your destination. There was another, a motorist who drove along 20 foot or so of a railway track. He claimed he'd been listening to his satellite navigation system, which instructed him to turn right at a town centre level crossing, only to find himself driving on the railway track before realising his error. But how many of us have come close to doing something similar? Perhaps not quite so serious as that. But let's be honest, even before satellite navigation uh, was invented, many of us, have we not oftentimes taken the wrong turning? Even though the road signs told us different, like driving through flood water and the signs clearly state the danger, or driving past and through a road closed sign thinking we can still get to where we want to before we reach the reason it's closed. Do you know, this got me thinking too. That even in life, with all its confusions that we face today, it's easy to lose our way or take a wrong turn or somewhere along the road of life. Perhaps with a wrong decision, with an issue you face. Perhaps with re relationships, choice of friends, even with family happenings, or even in our relationship with God. Yes, we may lose our way at times, not knowing which way to turn or go. <laughs> Very much like the lyrics of... Uh, the band U2 uh, and, and the lyrics on part of their track was at 1987 which said and I quote I still haven't found what I'm looking for the streets have no names as to knowing your way in life Jesus said John 14 6 I am the way the truth and the life Proverbs 3 6 says in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight but how many of us yes I include myself here sometimes still ignore the signs clearly given from God in the Bible. But I must also say that I have proved it's far better than a sat-nav sat for life. If we follow with our faith on life's journey, God has promised he will make our paths straight. Now there's a thought for today on Friday. So have a good day and a weekend to follow now. God bless. Thank you very much indeed, Merv. Uh, occasionally, and you see these on Spotlight, Mervin, don't you, where... Drivers of juggernauts have gone down into little villages or taken roads that are so narrow that there is no escape and then they get wedged in. I remember um, being in Cornwall 
and one got stuck in such a place there in St. Agnes. And uh, yes, that was on spotlight too, I noticed. And, uh, and yes, it, uh, it, it was uh, it's quite jammed up. Dare I suggest nobody got in those situations before Satnav? <laughs> No, I suppose it. No, I suppose it didn't really, Gordon. No. <laughs> uh, the you, road signs. Exactly. Exactly. All the signs that said it's uh, unsuitable for heavy vehicles. Yes, that's the one. Well, signs are you'll be with Caroline tomorrow morning, twenty past seven. That's right, Gordon. And I want to say thank you for having me on your breakfast show this week. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Always lovely to hear from you, Merv. And you have a great weekend, Mervyn Bird, street pastor from Tiverson this morning with us on BBC Radio Devon. The time now is coming up to 6.30.